Castles and palaces are striking structures, and many were built for reasons that are fascinating. They often have features that make them even more intriguing to explore. From the extravagant to the simply divine, from fairy tale-like castles that inspired Disneyland castles to elaborate fountains and lavish gardens. These are top 10 fantastic castles and palaces that will leave you wondering how they were ever built long ago. Number 10. Palacio de Pena, Portugal. Positioned 300 meters high in the Serra da Sintra, the Palacio de Pena is considered one of the pinnacles of European Romanticist architecture. It is intentionally a mix of many different types of world architecture, a truly exotic and eclectic design that is set in extensive gardens that host over 2,000 different species of plants set gloriously above the forest canopy below. It can be seen from Lisbon on a clear day. The path to the castle from the foot of the hills feels like a path through a rainforest with a radiating heat from the rock of the hill. Combining with the hill's natural springs to form a highly fertile soil and environment that suits the most exotic of plants. A beautiful piece of European architecture. The long winding path that royal guests took to the palace are laced with statues and grottos all the way until you reach the foot of its grand entrance. Number 9. Alnwick Castle, England. Harry Potter fans, have a look through some photos of Alnwick and you'll quickly notice something. This is Hogwarts. Think of the scene in Philosopher's Stone, where Harry has his first broomstick lesson. It was filmed right outside Alnwick, and look at the lion arch of the castle, which was the entrance and exit of Hogwarts, heading towards Haver's cabin and the Forbidden Forest. It's not just Hogwarts though, but also the castle and Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, Downtown Abbey, A Black Adder, and many other films and TV shows. It's easy to see why it's the castle of choice for filmmakers. It's tremendously well preserved the testament to the improvements that were made throughout the 1400. In order to strengthen it against the Scottish border, it's the second largest stately home in Britain, second only to Windsor Castle, and is set in picturesque gardens, which extend throughout its massive grounds. Number 8. Predma Castle, Slovenia. This castle is built within a cave mouth in south-central Slovenia, listed in the Guinness World Book of Records as the largest cave castle in the world. It's connected to Slovenia's post-cave system, hanging an almighty 123 meters high above a rock fence. Its legendary owner, the knight Arizim Lugar, was a law unto himself and had a fearsome reputation for the frequent robberies. He stays from his mountainside base. His raucous lifestyle climaxed when he had to seek refuge from punishment during the 15th century. After killing Marshal Papenheim in a Viennese court, Papenheim was related to the Holy Roman Emperor Frederick III, who ordered his generals to lay siege to the castle for over a year. They didn't know what the conniving trickster regime had up his sleeve though, and were left puzzled as to why they couldn't starve the night out. But little did they know his castle was home to a vast network of tunnels from which could smuggle in fresh food. The essence of the castle mischievous nature is obvious today. It is rugged and tough construction, must have surely taken true grit, from those who sculpted it from the mountainside stone. Number 7. The Potala Palace, China. The Potala Palace was the winter palace of the Dalai Lama, from its beginnings in the 7th century, known as the Jewel of the Himalayas. It is positioned 3,700 meters above sea level on top of the Marbury Hill, which rises 130 meters above the Lhasa Valley with the palace itself stretching a further 170 meters above that. It's an architectural triumph, measuring 400 meters east-west and 350 meters north-south. The huge stone walls are 3 meters thick and copper was poured into the foundations to prove it against earthquakes. It has a total of 13 stories, and altogether they contain over 1,000 rooms as well as 10,000 shrines and a staggering 200,000 statues. The palace contains two distinct main buildings, the Red Palace and the White Palace, which were constructed at different times. In 1645, the fifth Dalai Lama ordered the construction of the portraying Carbo, the White Palace, and it was completed by 1648. The patron Marpo, or Red Palace, followed a few decades later and was added between 1690 and 1694. It's one of the proudest fortress monasteries on the planet, a testament to the 7,000 laborers and 1,500 artists and craftsmen who worked day and night to construct it. This UNESCO World Heritage Site had remained intact throughout the Chinese-Tibetan Wars, when Tibetans surrounded the palace in fear that the Dalai Lama would be kidnapped. 
they were brutally subjugated by the Red Guards, but in contrast to their treatment of other Tibetan religious architecture, they'd let the structure stand. Perhaps they just couldn't help but behold it in trans in awe for it. Must have been a staggering sight then, and certainly still is now. Number 6. Argi Bam, Iran Argi Bam is an ancient fortified citadel. It's not just a fort, but actually a giant fortified city complex. Measuring a massive 180,000 meter squared with 7 meter tall walls and hundreds of buildings that lay below its central palace. It is a remarkable place to behold, especially for its age with its origins tracing back to a committed amended period, 6th to 4th centuries BC and beyond. Its sandy form is created using compact and mud layers and clay's bricks, which have remained well preserved throughout its 2000 year existence. Argi Bam's system of canal irrigation that runs below ground is incredibly advanced, and it even has its own ancient air condition system. The desert wind is directed around the city using funnels protruding from buildings. Sometimes, the wind was directed over pools of water to cool it further and remove dust. For those who lived within its fortified walls, this was a desert paradise, not just a desert oasis. Number 5. Himeji Castle, Japan Comprising of a network of 83 buildings and many advanced defensive systems from the feudal period, Himeji is considered the finest preserved example of typical Japanese castle architecture. The massive complex of buildings surrounding it extends over the plains, a citadel well-preserved buildings that are interwoven with several lines of defense. The castle is known also as the White Heron Castle because of its stunning and brilliant white exterior. Combined with this suggested resemblance to a bird taking flight, the castle built at the start of the Shobin period is almost all wood in which the Japanese were the supreme artists of architecture and design. The interior's minimalism, contrast with the exterior's grand jewel, featuring multiple layered roofs which extend high above the city line below. Number 4. Hunyad Castle, Romania This hugely imposing, unmistakably gothic castle's blood-red rooftops may help give it away. It's the castle where Dracula or Vlad, the emperor, officially Vlad, the third of Wilaya was imprisoned for seven years, and what a place to be imprisoned, hanging high above its mountain floor, with access only via a singular bridge. It's a true Gothic masterpiece, and later incorporated Renaissance architecture into its Gothic hide. It gradually dilapidated and suffered extreme damage in a fire in 1854, but was lovingly rebuilt to remain true to its Gothic roots. As you walk through its dark and woeful corridors, you can almost hear Dracula cackle with laughter from within his dinky cell. Number 3. Mount St. Michael, France This fortress monastery was first formed early as the 8th century. Its world-famous quirk is that it is actually built at sea and is only accessible on foot at low tide. It was nicknamed St. Michael and Peril of the Sea by monks who were on pilgrimage to the monastery across the sand flats, as the tide can come in notoriously quickly reaching heights of 14 meters, easily sweeping any stragglers away. Even now, tourists drown when trying to cross the flats on foot. In the 1880s, a narrow causeway was implanted to safeguard those traveling over the flats, and it has now been developed into a road. The Mont didn't go unnoticed for its naturally perilous position and remained unconquered during the Hundred Years' War. A tiny band of men fended off a full English attack in 1433, the assailants quickly understood why pilgrims named Miss Castle and Peril of the Sea as they drowned during repeated charges on the battlements. After then, Louis XI used it as a prison until it returned to its former duty as a destination for pilgrims. Nevertheless, the quasi-island commune has remained well guarded throughout its entire history, thanks to its truly unique position, and it houses 60 buildings lined up its hillside. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site and attracts a staggering 3 million tourists each year. Number 2. Hohenwerfen Castle, Austria Another mountain castle, Hohenwerfen Castle, is positioned on a rocky precipice, a mighty 623 meters above the Austrian market town of Hohenwerfen in the Salsa Valley. Its imposing rugged form has stood strong for over 90 zero years as a distinctly medieval stone castle. 11th century Austria was a time of unrest, and thus, in 1077, Archbishop Jebhard decided on the construction of three key castles, Hohenwerfen Castle Hohenselsburg and Petersburg. Hohenwerfen was innovated throughout the 15th century into the behemoth that it is today. It has stood numerous exchanges of rule, as well as the harsh elements of the Austrian winter. 
During Nazi rule, it was used as a military training center and featured prolifically in the 1968 movie Where Evils Dare. There's something about its slate-colored walls and bulky turds that give this castle an air of awesomeness, but it's not without that dark tinge of something evil too. As the castle was used as a state prison for some of the lands, most wanted hosting them in terrible conditions until the end of their days. Now, if you thought this castle was grand, then feast your eyes on this picture. It shows what looks like one of the grandest fairy tale castles ever fit for royalty. Whilst I can't find evidence that this castle actually exists, the final castle in this video comes close to its beauty, so get ready for what is quite possibly the most awesome castle out there. Number 1. Neuschwanstein Castle, Germany. With its tall, pointed turrets and fairy tale architecture. This is widely described as the archetypal fairy tale castle built in true romance era fashion for Louis Sue of Bavaria, often referred to as Mad King Ludwig. This royal palace, which is nestled in the Bavarian Alps of Germany, begun his construction in 1869 and was tragically left unfinished at Louise's death in 1886 after a catalog of delays reached havoc with his finely tuned building plan. In 1866, Bavaria, which was then aligned with Austria, was defeated by Prussian forces during their expansion and subsequently, Bavaria was forced to accept a defensive and offensive alliance where Ludwig was no longer a sovereign ruler. Driven by a lust for kingship, Ludwig set out to build fantastical castles of his own from which he could rule his personal kingdom, and Neuschwanstein was his magnum opus, the pinnacle of his maddened motivation. With its spire soaring spectacularly above the deep greenery of the surrounding forest, this is the most photographed building in Germany, and 1.3 million tourists visit each year. It was built to a relatively modern design and had some radical features like running water to every floor, flushing toilets, and a heating system that ran throughout the building. It's a true masterpiece of romance architecture, and Ludwig didn't get the chance to experience it. In popular culture, it will live forever through the Disneyland castle, which was modeled on it. Which castle or palace was your favorite? Have you been to any other amazing ones that you think deserve a spot in this video? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to drop it a like and subscribe, clicking that bell icon to stay notified. Thanks for watching.